in this video i will share parallelogram law of vectors addition means what is the definition of parallelogram law how to add two vectors by using this law let us suppose there are two vectors one let me call as vector p and the other vector is vector q our question is how to add these two vectors to find a resultant vector that is equal to p vector plus q vector by using parallelogram law parallelogram law says if we can represent the given vectors by two sides of a parallelogram this small arrow represents vector q and this longer one represents vector p let me complete a parallelogram by using these two lines so i have represented two vectors along two sides of a parallelogram this parallelogram law says if two vectors can be represented by two sides of a parallelogram then their resultant r vector is represented by a diagonal of the parallelogram passing through the common point of intersection of two vectors because the parallelogram has two diagonals we have to take this diagonal which is passing through common initial point of two vectors let me call this point as point o this point as a and this point b this is c and this diagonal represents resultant vector now our next question is what will be magnitude of this r vector for finding magnitude of r vector we produce this line and draw a perpendicular from point c on this produced line let me call this point as point d that is foot of the perpendicular suppose angle between the given vectors is theta so if this angle is theta this angle made at point a will also be equal to theta we shall make use of this diagram to find magnitude of r vector first of all let us apply pythagoras theorem in the triangle ocd so from triangle ocd by using pythagoras theorem i can write oc square is equal to od square plus cd square now this length od can be divided into two parts oa plus ad so i can write this previous equation as oc square equal to oa plus ad whole square plus cd whole square now this bracket can be expanded by using the formula a plus b whole square o a square plus a d square plus 2 times o a multiplied with a d this is the expansion of this bracket a plus b whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2 ab and lastly i will write c d square now from figure the length oc represents magnitude of resultant vector length oa represents magnitude of p vector and length ob represents magnitude of q vector now we shall make use of this triangle acd to find other values from triangle a c d let me write answer for cos theta cos theta is base over hypotenuse base is ad and hypotenuse is ac by cross multiplying i can write ad equal to ac cos theta now this ac is length is equal to ob which is nothing but magnitude of q vector so i can write ad 
is equal to q cos theta. Similarly, from the same triangle, let me write sin theta. Sin theta means perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. Perpendicular is CD divided by AC. As done previously, I can write CD equal to AC sin theta. Again, I will replace AC by Q. So, CD can be written as Q into sin theta. So, we have found value of AD, value of CD, OC, OA and OB. In the previous equation for magnitude of resultant vector, I will put all these values and get answer for magnitude of resultant vector as R square equal to P square plus Q cos theta whole square plus 2 times P multiplied with Q cos theta plus Q sin theta whole square. Now we have to simplify this right hand side and get our required answer. The right hand side of previous equation can be simplified as p square plus q square as common cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 p q cos theta. This can be written as r square equal to p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta because this bracket is nothing but 1 cos square theta plus sin square theta is always 1. From this I can write value for r as square root p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta. This is the required relation for magnitude of resultant vector that is found with the help of parallelogram law of vector addition. Using this relation we can find magnitude just by putting the values of magnitude of first vector, value of magnitude of second vector and cos of the angle between the two given vectors. That's all. Thank you.